Hi guys, it's Ewan from Everything Paddle and today I've got a diamond shaped racket and a round shaped racket. The shape of your paddle racket is the biggest factor when choosing the best bat for your game. So I'm going to be testing the Addy Power 3.1 which is diamond and the Addy Bauer Control 3.1 which is round. Let's see my thoughts on which is best for you, the diamond one or a round one. Before I start though, remember to subscribe. It's free, it takes two seconds and you'll never miss a video. Let's go. So a round racket prioritizes control. So this is the Addy Power Control, it's round shape. It's gonna have a sweet spot right in the middle and the balance of it is gonna be more even or low. So there's more weight around this handle, not near the top. This is a diamond shaped racket, which means the balance is near the top, which means there's more weight at the top. So you're gonna get more power on each shot and the sweet spot is nearer the top as well. So striking the ball right near the top is gonna to give you the best ball output. You can imagine if you hit a smash with this and get the ball right at the top where there's more weight and where the sweet spot is, you're gonna to get a ton more power. Whereas this, if you hit it right in the middle and there's more weight around the handle, you're gonna get a lot more control. All right guys, so we've done a little test here. As you can see, they're both perfectly in line. However, this one's nearly falling off because there's more weight at the top of the racket more weight of the handle there. Just a little test to show you how the balance is spread on a diamond shaped racket here and a round shaped racket there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna practice some defending with the round racket and the diamond racket and see how it feels from the back of the court. Now, it should feel a lot better with this round racket because this is more for control and defense rather than all out power. Right, Addy Power Control round, here we go. Ah. So I'm aiming to hit this right in the sweet spot here, guys. Right in the middle of the racket, it feels nice. Okay, let me try with the diamond one now. Let me talk about this. So instantly it feels more head heavy because remember on the diamond one, there's more weight at the top and I'm noticing I have to hit it near the top. There's definitely faster ball speed output when you hit the ball. It goes faster off the face of the racket. Right, we're gonna do some volleys now with a diamond shaped racket and a round shaped racket to see if we can notice much of a difference. I'm expecting a bit easy to control with this one and a bit more power with this one. So let's use the diamond shaped racket first. Oh wow. Okay, so when you hit this perfectly in the sweet spot and get your timing right, it is a brutal shot. It's fast, it's low, this is a rough surface as well, it just kills the ball with the spin. However, I did miss hit the ball a couple times. So for beginners, this is why I recommend a rounder racket because it's easier to use and you'll have less miss hits, which are very common at an early stage. I recommend a diamond for more intermediate to advanced players who are better at the game and have a lot less miss hits. Let's try the round one. This should be a lot easier and I shouldn't get a horrible miss hitty sound. Yeah, really nice control on the ball. You get a very good sound, very consistent strike. So you could even argue that a player on the right should use a control-based racket because traditionally the player on the right is more consistent and solid, whereas the player on the left uses more attacking diamond-shaped racket as they're the ones going for the smashes and the bigger shots and the more aggressive shots. Right, it wouldn't be an everything paddle video without doing some smashes, so we're gonna practice some with the diamond-shaped racket. All right, pretty easy with the Addy Power. We already know that though, it's a top racket. Let's try with the control one. I'm just interested to see how much of a difference I can feel with something with a lot lower balance. Hmm. All right guys, obviously smashing is technique. We know that, but this is easier to get it out. And we saw that just from then. Got a couple out with this, it's fine. I can do it, of course, and get it out with any racket, but it's just easier with this, just because it's basically optimized for most power. Like, one of them, it didn't just go over that fence. There's another fence there that it went over as well. So it just showed the smash was a lot bigger. So 
Don't think that you can't get it out with a round shaped racket, but then don't also think that it makes no difference at all, because it definitely does. Okay guys, in conclusion, who do I think should have this racket and who should have this racket? Okay, intermediate to advanced players should use the diamond shaped racket, because it's a little bit harder to use. To be honest, anyone can use a round shaped racket, because some advanced players will still use this because they love the control, and that's fine. But I would recommend any beginner player out there, use something round, use something easy to use with a big sweet spot, and a nice big hitting surface for you to use. And then once you get good enough with your control and your aim and accuracy, then use this, the diamond shaped one. Thanks for watching guys, hope you did enjoy. Both of these rackets are in stock at Everything Paddle, Addy Power 3.1 and Addy Power 3.1 Control. They're unbelievable rackets, been our best sellers this year. If you need help choosing your paddle racket, you can contact me on WhatsApp or you can email me and do what you want. DM me on Instagram, don't really mind. But if you need help, contact me and I can help you choose something for your game.